What is up guys and welcome back. Right, a different video here for you today. This is a video on how to not break the bank with fuel costs when traveling or fast traveling. So for example, we're going to get straight into this. I'm in the north and I want to travel down to the south to Iron Mike. So instead, you travel to the Iron Mike farm, which is just to the east of it. Jump on your bike. And I did this pretty much every time. Now this is mainly for early game, guys, because you travel once down there and your tank's going to be at like 30%. It'll cost you 152 to 250 at least to refill your tank depending on its size. So what I do is this. Every time I wanted to fast travel down, I came to this little barn, grabbed the closest fuel can I could find to the spawn point. And this spawn point is obviously closer to Iron Mike than obviously the north. So traveling from here to Iron Mike is going to cost way less. As you can see, 35%, very early days. That should be it. But there we go, that fills up. And then from there, you travel down to Iron Mike's encampment. And when you get here, you'll have fuel of about 70. Again, depending on what tank you've got. But um, it's a shitload better and having to worry about where the hell your fuel is going to come from. As you can see here, 82 credits. But it's okay, no need. Okay, so now from the south to the north. So we're in uh, Iron Mike right there. And if you want to travel to Copeland's, then you could travel there like Iron Mike's and you're going to have very little fuel left. So go to the nearer checkpoint just above you, Little Bear Lake. Do a quick spin. Now this is on my upgraded bike now. I think it's max upgrade. So it won't show the correct percentage. But early game, it'll chow your fuel. Come up here, grab this fuel can, fill up your bike. And then you guess that travel down to, or fast travel down to Coplands. Coplands? Coplands? And this way, you're going to be saving a bucket load of fuel. And obviously the fuel costs. And that's how I traveled pretty much all the time. As you can see, a fair amount of fuel. Well, you will have a fair amount of fuel. You can't tell in this, this gas tank. I found this funny. I wedged myself perfectly in there. And I had to fast travel to get out. Probably took skill to do that. Anyway, okay, we're down south again, and you want to travel to Hot Springs. Now, this is a very cool tip, because it's pretty much the furthest you can travel, early game, obviously. So you want to travel all the way up to the other camp up there, which is Hot Springs. Now, once you get here, jump on the bike again, and this is when you're going to have very little fuel left, because it is the furthest. And I'm going to show you the closest fuel can location, which is going to be chilling right over here. And you're looking at a detour of less than a minute and again save yourself a shitload of credits hot springs was my worst encampment i don't think i sent a single survivor there but there it is right there and if it isn't there it's going to be right on the floor right over here so it's a constant spawn and of course these things are limitless or bottomless should i say and you can refill as many times as you like and i used to come back here so often there used to be a stack of them sitting outside because they don't seem to disappear well not all the time then jump on your bike and head back to Hot Springs, and that takes care of that. Now I want to show you a couple of uh, later game travel points, i.e. the closest fuel can to the travel point. Alright John, we know we're going back. Should have cut this off. But it's okay. Here it is. Right, so now we're all the way down in Highway 97. And this is a little strategy to travel to Wizard Island right there which is in the Crater Lake region, as well as Diamond Lake Campment up top here, just northwest of it. Now, if I wanted to travel to the big one, the Wizard Island, I would come here first. Again, jump on the motorcycle and grab some fuel, which is going to be very close behind you here. Pretty much the closest one. And again, being the furthest away, you travel somewhere from up north all the way down here. It's not a bad spot to pop in here for 30 seconds. And it's going to be sitting on a table right over here. There it is. As you can see, the other one's still lying around. Yeah, fill her up. And then from here, I would fast travel down to Wizard Island. And that's the big one. And there aren't any close ones to Wizard Island. They're all kind of in the middle between uh, Crater Lake and uh, Wizard Island. Or Diamond Lake, at least, and Wizard Island. See, 93% is not bad getting there awesome fuel efficiency so that's it guys hope you found the video fun and informative any questions you have give us a shout i'm always going to answer so i want to say thanks for watching and i'm going to catch you on the next one